All right, so everything just showed up from Lindsay. I figured now would be a good time to unpack all of it. We'll take a look, kind of walk through some stuff. And uh, first things first is before we do the math kit, um, I'm gonna plug in the Focus DME into the car real fast, turn it on and make sure that the car works um, with, you know, just nothing else tampered with. We only wanna do one thing at a time in case something isn't working quite right and uh, all that other kind of stuff. But I'm stoked, man. I am so stoked. Let's get right into it. couple things with the OBD module you get a couple Molex connectors I believe that's for the uh, Y-band O2 controllers and you also get a plug so that you can plug in the DME into any Windows device and that's how you can monitor the engine management systems. It looks like it's just a old fashioned USB data cable to USB-C. And so you download that OBD software and you connect this into the DME and you connect that into a, whatever you're using, a Windows tablet or PC or whatever, and then run that focus software and you can see what's going on. So this is really cool if you ever want to add a wide band O2. And there's actually a weird bung underneath the car that's nothing is plugged into that's threaded. So let's take a look at the Focus OBD DME. So while I'm opening this stuff up, I figure it's a good time to talk about cost. This is all... at least for the engine management stuff, the OBD module DME is 859. And that's gonna be from Joe and from Dave. You're gonna end up paying the same price. Um, usually around Black Friday, they'll run a sale, but uh, that's not necessarily always the case. Um, either way, it's kind of a steal because when you compare it to the cost of going standalone and doing all that stuff, and this just works. So before I do anything, you should also be sure to use some, whenever you're doing any uh, work on here, for example, whenever we do the chip install, um, make sure you're wearing a uh, electrostatic discharge bracelet so you can keep yourself grounded. I'm not gonna do anything like that right now. I just wanna pop this open so we can show you guys the, uh, the guts of the DME. What's nice is that they convert this to a center point mount. So no more bending tabs or anything like that. So I'll pop this guy off real fast. And I'll come back and show you the DME. Here's a look at the Focus OBD in detail. And I'm actually glad that the first thing I did was pop this open. You can see that the car is currently set for turbo mode. So what we need to do is switch this over to NA to make sure that it's running the NA fuel mapping. Um, if you have a turbo car, you want to make sure you never run it in NA mode because it will um, basically it disables all the knock uh, protection and detection and stuff like that. So. Do it only for diagnosing purposes uh, only and for when there's absolutely no boost applied to the engine at all. So if you suspect something is wrong with your DME in, turbo, in your turbo and you want to just check the chip or the program, you could flip it to NA mode and see if the car will start. You can see here's the EEPROM. We'll be swapping this out. This has the original, essentially the original Bosch program on it 
we're going to be swapping that out for Lindsay's, come on, focus, math kit here, which will pop open in a second. But uh, the way that the DME is designed is that it's essentially a reverse engineered original Bosch DME. So it should be compatible with any upgrades that you would make to your uh, 86 or 85 and a half in later DMEs. So the Rogue chips, uh, the Lindsay chips, uh, any chip that you pop in should work and should be compatible. The reason why I had to do this is because my 86 car had a 24 pin DME and to install the math kit, you need a 28. You can see here, you can switch between 28 and 24 pin. So if your car is having a weird time running with a new DME or new uh, math, make sure that it's set to the 28 pin mode. But you can see that everything is essentially brand new. It's like... It's an entirely new motherboard, entirely new components. Really, really awesome. So I can't wait. I'm going to go ahead, throw this cover back on real fast, and let's get it installed in the car, get the battery connected, and make sure that everything is working. Okay. There we go. There's that click. So the DME is in. And all we got to do now is just... Connect the battery and see how she runs. Got the battery connected. Neutral. Okay, fuel pump is primed. Here we go. Lovely. Absolutely lovely. Absolutely lovely. My car actually had a little bit of a hesitation problem on cold start, and that's completely gone. That is completely gone. The mixture automatically smells great. Everything's working great. It's idling smooth. I'm gonna let it warm up, get to temp. I wanna make sure uh, that everything is good once uh, the O2 sensors out of the loop and, and air temperature starts coming up and all that other sort of good stuff. So that's how stuff should be, man. You should buy it, you should plug it in, and it should just work. Awesome. immediately is that um, it revs a little bit quicker I think uh, maybe it was going a little rich before but like I said we'll see what happens when the uh, the O2 is out of the picture just taking it out for a quick drive just to make sure that everything is good That's where I'm leaving this video off right now. We've got the Focus 9 DME installed. And uh, I went after that drive, took it to go put gas. A um, couple footnotes. So that startup clip that you guys saw earlier, this car hasn't run, um, I'd say probably in about a week, maybe a week and a half. And before then I was out on vacation, so it uh, was not driven at all for five or six days. So, this is almost at like two and a half weeks cold 
And that first clip was its first start in that whole period of time. And it just started right up, didn't hesitate, and was just awesome. So I was going to show you guys the uh, math kit in this video. I was going to make it a nice long format for everyone and show like both those upgrades at once. But, um, well, I damaged the daughter board for the chip. Turns out it's very important which way you orient that chip when you're uh, installing it into the uh, motherboard on the DME. Doesn't matter if it's the old school DME or if you're uh, upgrading your to a focus one. And I had placed it backwards. So I did my best to try to be delicate and pry it out, but upon prying it out, one of the pins, this is just some GPIO pins, I don't have the chip here, um, actually broke off. So that sucks. So I was literally almost entirely done with the install. I just needed to film some closing shots and uh, we were gonna go take it out and test it. But, so hopefully uh, Dave can help me out and uh, give me a replacement daughter board. That's the good news about the whole thing is that it's not like I need a whole new math kit. I just need a new daughter board for the main program chip to plug into. So. Hopefully we get that issue sorted relatively quickly and that allows me to keep the DME separate that way uh, and the math install separate that way I can, as I did with this video, focus a lot more on each individual thing. And then uh, as soon as this build series is done, at least all the engine management stuff, I'll take it out somewhere, we'll go for a drive um, and I'll really go in depth on how it feels, how it performs and all that kind of stuff. So for now, that Focus 9 DME, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and call it. That is a must have for every 944 owner. Go get it. Um, if you don't want OBD and you don't care, you just want something that works, then get the Basic Sport DME. Um, uh, OBD, I think would be a lifesaver. I didn't need to use it today because I knew that the car ran with it um, without the MAF installed and with the MAF it didn't run. But just to have that peace of mind, to be able to look at the mixture and the uh, sensors, the actual data outputs without having to connect a scope and do all kinds of stuff. It's just, um, yeah, if you daily a 944, it's a must have. So that's going to do it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Hopefully we'll get that math going.